different standards as well. And how far do they have to go? I mean, do you have to get down to, you know, detection and response or just aligning to a framework, some controls, a combination? I guess it depends on like, mm. a lot of factors that go into it. But I mean, is it trending towards having to have active um, cyber control? Yeah, so I think that um, from what I've seen um, and what we've seen is that um, they want to make sure you have some uh, a minimum po- policies and plans in place, like instant response plan. They want to see that, that you've got a disaster recovery plan. How are you going to recover if you have a cyber incident? They want to see that on, on paper and mm-hmm. make sure you've got something. Um, bigger end of town, they want to make sure you've tested those things as well. So if you've tested your instant response plan and done a, you know, a tabletop scenario with your, your board or the crisis management team to make sure um, if it does happen, you actually know what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've seen that. I've seen um, MFA as a non-negotiable, like not even being considered for a policy unless you've got <laughs> multi-factor authentication in place. Um, there's a couple of different insurers out there in the market. Some will take on the risk. Um, some will make you pay a lot more for the policy, yeah, yep. depending on your maturity level.